Hey guys, Chase24 here. Today we're gonna be watching Let's Go Meet Let's Go Meet Let's Go and Meet John Delancey. Uh this video was questioned to me by uh, Always Right. I again I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um uh it's made by I love Kim Possible uh, all one word. Yes. And I was told by Always Right that it was basically just a, like a parody after the song he reads sings in the documentary. So yeah. But let's just get playing. Bam. Nice opening. Ha, <laughs> just like her opening from the show or something like that, I think. Disclaimer, the allowing is not uh, authorized and or official research and is either running uh, but, uh, is not profit project at all. Now, if it's all the same to you, class dismissed. Hmm. I like that one with the red, with the red and white. That one looks cool. <laughs> well, that kind of stinks. Lyra. Lyra. Oh! Someone needs to stop locking these doors. Yeah, that can be a problem. Oh, the university. Oh, it's Lauren Foss. Silver Quill. A few others I can't. Hey, Ink Rose. A bunch of others I can't see. Why is Lauren Foss a alicorn? I don't see him. Are you sure he's supposed to be here? Who are you? Yes. Maybe I was told things by people. And you trusted some obscure, random things you heard in the hallway. Pretty much. <laughs> I hate you. Yeah. Uh, you know hey, Darren, do. What? Fine, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Derpy. Uh, yeah, Derpy. <laughs> I can't. I can't remember who these characters are. Her, apparently. Ugh. Let's just do this already. Shouldn't you be wearing using torches? Why are you bald? All right, here goes nothing. So listen very carefully, every pony, and let me tell you why. A Mr. John Delancey is a really awesome guy. Mm-hmm. Well, first he's been on TV and a lot of super shows. In Star Trek, he was Q, in case you didn't know. I did not even know who he was until the show, actually. What? Shut up! Oh, well, um, how about his work from Alien Voices? Eh, it's okay. Alien Voices? Is that a show? Oh, really? He was Invader Jim? Zim? He was Invader Zim? Oh, hey, it's a uh, A and Y, I think. Derpy. How does that cause a catch on fire? Bromine. He teaches really well at Pony University. At least I think he does. And our rich Pony University. He likes us. You have a cardboard tube on your forehead, buddy. Is welcome, pirate. Unless you are a pirate. <laughs> because there was a pirate one there, huh? See, why is she an alicorn? He also has a lot of time for all of Spanthacon. He casts a magic spell on Chucky's doing them no wrong. To each and every brony, he's never fake or phony. How do we know? Ones who watch my little pony. How do we know? Oh! I'm sure it's worth the stress, though we're very all the dress. And together we undoubtedly look like a big old... Hey, it's supposed to be Dr. Wolf over there. Really rather blessed, it might be. Never mind, I'm rambling. Where was I? I digress. The last thing that I'll say Fair about being too cliche, John will help a brony out at the end of any day. And he turns his expectations in an awesome okay. way by partaking in our fandom, which has surely sent him gray. I'm sure it has, buddy. Yeah, it's already gray, though. <gasps> well, <laughs> Derpy! Oh. <laughs> Why was there red? You have no red on your coloring. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> real runner. Oh. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs>
Ah, uh, that was adorable right there. That's gonna oh, be hard to top. There's but more. Let's try anyway. Woo! Yeah. Oh, whatever. I want to do this part because you know what? I'm frustrated. No one All gets right. it. No one gets why I respect John Delancey as much as humanly possible. Sure, some assume that just because I love Discord and his character from Nana Loka standpoint, that it's somewhat given that I like Nana Loka that. Him. Duh, right? But no, uh, that's not, the case. not really. No, no. I, will I like characters, later, but not the voices. John Delancey is awesome, despite voicing Discord. So Which is still a reason. That Discord is my favorite character for a number of reasons. But in order to make this case as unbiased as possible, we're just gonna hide this information at the bottom of the ocean and forget about hey, it. Hey, there was Ariel back there! Just forget about it for a little while, okay, Internet? Okay? This is why John Delancey is awesome. Well, let's see why. If that proves I could never, ever be an actor, then Star Trek's weird situations are that proof. For example, Captain Picard, his crew, and Q are lost in the forest in the 12th century as Robin Hood characters. But. They yeah, that that show was kind of weird. Q and Janeway were stuck in the which is why I didn't watch most of it. In the middle of a civil war. Wait, what? But anyone who can make the scene somewhat work has my eternal respect. Uh... I was good, wasn't I? When John and Lancy is discussing a timeline, okay. Let's, let's say there's the, you know, me looking at the computer, my coming over that night, him saying something about, let's make a documentary, me going, no way. Wow. Oh. Um, then meeting uh, a bunch of bronies two weeks later, or for the a two week period later. Right somewhere in there, I did the second episode. I got a call from my agent saying that there is still an awesome little statue and I want it. It was very good. I went He's doing that little apple in his hand. hand. Look at that. And completely forgot about it. So let me get this. You forgot? Shot. John Delancey went into his role with little to no recollection of Discord's character and gave a performance that made mostly everyone cry. How do you do these things that you do? I don't understand. He's also, just a good actor. Were you guys even paying attention to the song that I painstakingly sang a little while ago? Man, you kids these days. Uh, I remember five minutes ago, I swear. I know, right? And another thing. Wait, what? It's like everywhere, doing not only interviews for conventions and jumps, but spending a ridiculous amount of time participating in fan-targeted media. For example, do you know how many interviews he's done for just throwing he's media He's just alone? cool. Like, a lot. I know. I had to watch most of them in preparation for this. There's a lot, and leave it at that. Which I will do most of those that I'm documentaries. Sure volunteer to do. Unless... Film? John, did you even read this contract? It says you're going to be paid in butter. That butter? <laughs> a lot. He also left the Brony Clubhouse in his house to do an interview. Who does that? Him, also, when Lyle apparently. Asked him when he was concerned about his conservative father, he means Lyle's parents had personally walked them into the convention. Again, who does that? Him? He also bribes people into his house to see the documentary, which I think is the funniest Bribes? Thing ever. In my own home, I've done this now four times. You get in my house, you get the movie and a complimentary dinner. <laughs> Wait, really? So this. Are you having a good time? Yes, yeah. having a great time. Uh, uh, the cakes. I, I love your outfit. You just happen to walk off the street, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's just saying, yeah. I'm <laughs> just saying, yeah. All right. Well, so well cool. enjoy yourself. Okay. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Bye. Which is strange, because actors and famous people are just pe just normal people. Cool in that situation. No, you would have freaked out. Uh, I won't have this though. This is gonna be fun. Now hit it. A bunch of twenty-year-old guys were watching a show made for eight-year-old girls. Originally made for eight-year-old girls. Uh, the documentary is going to premiere at the Republican National Convention. Nice, Terry Strong. Psychopath. It's a cool statue, though. Where do you get those? I would love to have like a whole statue collection of all the characters. That'd be awesome. Especially Chrysalis. problem with that? Good you question. don't need to call me Mr. Glancy each time. My liege is good. <laughs> Seriously impressed. 
Ah, my liege. <laughs> You're not a pony. Did I just say that out loud? I did. Always like to keep my audience riveted. Who was that? You know what? Those aren't even the best examples. The story I found is. The story. Uh, I went to Toronto Comic Con at, I believe, the end of March. And it just so happened that one Mr. John Delancey was a guest there. Oh. So I decided I totally wanted something with Discord on it, signed by him. I went searching through... Why are autographs so great? They're just piece of art by, uh, lines. ...by the name of IOPGO, and I thought... This, this is fantastic. It's got Discord and Celestia face to face. Celestia's looking all pissed. And I'm like, yeah, this is the perfect. Where can you find that picture? It looks awesome. I want that picture for something. I off on a nice piece of glossy paper. It looks great. And I go to the convention. I get to the convention and I'm standing in line. Is that There's like two people in front of me waiting to talk to John Delancey. And as I'm getting closer, I'm looking, looking at the picture and I happen to spy something in the picture that looks a little suggestive. But I think to what? myself, no, 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 don't worry about it. John Delancey is a professional. So I get up there and I hand him the picture. Well, I, I introduce myself. I'm, you know, uh, I've been watching Star Trek since I was a kid. Loved you as Q. But uh, as of late, I've been watching something else you've been in. And I handed him the picture. He's all, oh, look at that. Just a second. And he waves the girl that was in line ahead of me back. She comes up and he says, you remember I told you that I was doing voices? Is that in Cross? She says, yeah. He that says, looks well, a bit. This is the character I was playing and he holds the picture up and he points to discord and he says this is gluey i i mean discord gluey? She, nods her head and she, she says it looks kind of like you and he turns around and he says what part of this looks like me and she looks all nervous right at me and she's like what do i say and i just kind of stroke my beard and she's like yeah yeah facial hair that's it that's it and he looks at it, he's like no he was like full scruff yeah, yeah, <laughs> facial hair facial he's like no part of me did it no she walks away, and he's like, he puts the picture down on the table, and he grabs his pen, and he's, Quill. he's like, so you want me to sign this? And I said, yes. He's like, okay. He puts the pen, he's just about to touch to the paper, and he p lifts it away from the paper, and puts it down, and picks it up, and says, what is that? And hand to forehead, I'm just like, oh my god. He's like, what is this? And I'm like, <laughs> it's not what you think. And he's like... Well, it kind of looks like, and I'm like, I know what it looks like. Hello? It's his tail wrapping around behind Celestia and coming up in front. And he's like, really? I'm like, yes, really. He's like, I don't know. Who's laughing? if anybody else sees this. So he turns to his <laughs> where one Who's laughing? Nicole DeBoer. I'm not. What's going on? Nicole DeBoer being the actress that played Ezri Dax in Deep Space Nine. And he says... Nikki, come here. She stands up, walks towards his table. He's like, look at this. And she looks at it, and it doesn't even take her a split second. She's like, oh my god. <laughs> and I am just right at this point. And oh. he's like, chuckling. And he's like, yeah. And he says, uh, we were uh. discussing earlier about how uh, apparently they muddled Discord after me, but I think this is the only part they got right. <laughs> Nicole kind of gives him a, yeah, shut up kind of look. And she walks back to her table, and he's uh. like, I think that's what this is. I'm like, that's not what it is. And he's like, let's check again. And he's like, <laughs> down, calls hey, it's, uh... <laughs> And he's like, look at this. Look at this. That looks... the only part of Discord they modeled after me. The con staff are just like look at all of them laughing and the other half are like mouth wide open like oh my god what is he signing he finally stops showing it to everyone that will stop for 10 seconds and puts <laughs> it down on the table and chuck all chuckling all the while grabs his pen he's like where would you like me to sign and i'm like wherever the f you want to <laughs> and uh... he's like okay so he's right <laughs> on the top of the big blue penis so there you are all so right then but that picture actually was kind of cool. Other than that, there. John Delancey is the biggest troll I've ever met. Okay, I get it. That's well, really funny, all right. You know, the I thing plan to do that video as well, and it was good, in this yeah. one, so that's good. Good times, man. Yeah. Good times. Good time. Wait, that happened just like <coughs> two minutes ago. More like bad memories. Two minutes? Seriously? But I think it's time to wrap up with the funny business and move on to something else. Oh. And I think this might be hard. I'll do my best. I like well, funny business though. This business. Part, this part, I think, I think I need to open up about something. Like, okay. Like why I decided to take on this mammoth of a project. When this was released, I felt really disappointed. But Big I think deal I to take us. We spent. This. Okay. Talk to someone else about it. Hello. 
Hi, John. My name is Rachel, and oh, hello. I'm sure you're probably really confused about what you just saw, even more so depending on how you got it. But um, that was just me and my team's way of saying thank you. I know the documentary kind of got murky with the pirating and all the other issues, and I just I felt like I had to do something. So that was my kind of gift to you. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm really nervous about talking and speaking on camera, but I'm trying to keep my cool. Uh -huh. It's very hard. I will say that without Discord, I probably would not have given the show a chance. And now that I've actually watched the show, I've built this big community of people and fans, and it's weird for me to think about, but at the same time, I really can't imagine my life without it. So I just wanted to thank you for kind of inadvertently giving me that gift. and. That's oh, you have your own figure. That's that's mean. Oh, that's, that's cool. That's all I really wanted to say. Thank you so much. Thanks, John. Thank you, oh. John Delancey. Thank you, John Delancey. Thank you, John Delancey. Thank you, John. Thank you, John Delancey. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you, John Delancey. Thank you, John. <laughs> Live prong and losper, or something like that. Is it? No. Hey, Yoda. Uh, thanks, John Delancey. You do good job. Good, good job. I did. Oh, no. Who does this kind of animation here? It's pretty neat. <laughs> Who is that? Who is that one? In the toga. Friend directed and performed by... Fair enough. Animation... Oh, wow. Oh, there's a lot of animators. Background, Vector Pony, Cool V Vector. Uh, let's go meet John Delancey, based on the original animation. Okay. Original lines by Anthony C. Okay. Hey, those are crows. John Delancey. Uh, <laughs> the mustache. Creative Council, Anthony Joe, and. Actors. Oh, the last narrator was in that? Do not miss Celestia so Fan Arts. Ooh. Sound of story. Okay. Credit sequence. Huh. Uh. Who is that? <laughs> I've just slapped myself in the face four times. I hope you're happy. Ow. Ow. Hello. Well, that was Let's Go Meet John Delancey. The song was good. I mean, all the stitches that was nice. And uh, like with her, I do appreciate John Delancey doing all the stuff he does. I uh, again I'm lost. Like I always like I say a lot, I'm not good with these last word things, but I try. <laughs> yeah, that was nice, good. Oh god, I am just drawing a blank. Oh! That's a... Uh, Video that was shown within the video to describe why John Lanty is so great. I actually planned on doing a video to that, but thankfully it's in this one as well, so I don't have to. So I don't have to do an individual video to it anymore. Yay! <laughs> yep, that was nice, fun, good. But remember, guys, if you have any videos you want me to react to, put them in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you want to stay caught up on my anything I put up, subscribe. And we're staying strong and we're running hard. See you next time.